Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. RT Game is an Irish YouTuber with nearly 3 million subscribers that I've been watching for quite a few years now. But there's been some drama surrounding him that I would like to talk about. It largely starts with Best of RT Game 2022 and it led to the creation of YouTube is restricting my content. But how? If we go to Twitter, you can see that Daniel tweeted out this, which is him showing that his Best of RT game 2022 had been age restricted. The tweet reads, I am absolutely devastated. My Best of RT game 2022 video has been age restricted to 18 plus for no reason and limited. This happened last year for no reason too. At Team YouTube, would it please be possible to resolve this? There's nothing that should have done this. Thank you. And then there was a follow-up tweet. The entire three-hour video has been rejected after submitting a review 10 minutes ago. This is exactly what happened last year too. YouTube needs to fix its review system. This is absolutely wrong. But little did Daniel know that this would be just the start. He tweeted and said, I can't believe this. Instead of removing an age restriction on my video that was placed by mistake, YouTube has instead restricted more of my videos. My video for the quarry is now restricted while many playthroughs of the same content remain. Add Team YouTube, please can you fix. This was followed up with, I genuinely feel like my entire livelihood is at risk if this continues. I'm so upset this is even happening and that there seems to be nothing I can do to resolve it. My best of video is still similarly restricted with nothing to fix the problem almost a day later. The manual appeal was immediately rejected once again. I feel awful for even having to tweet about this, but if I don't, it can't be resolved. Unfortunately, the system is so broken and manual reviews are meaningless. The next thing that was demonetized was let's build a Lego Minecraft world, which is bizarre. And then this video, which was privated and is 11 years old. Those two especially are a bit strange and seemingly an anomaly in all this. He tweeted out support after all that. Six more videos got age restricted overnight. These were a GeoGuessr video, a horror game video, a Mario Party video, a Smash Brothers video, Best of RT Game 2020, The Quarry as we've seen, more Mario related content, more Irish content, and two Persona videos. And then it was found out that none of this would be resolved, which led Daniel to make his video, YouTube is restricting my content, which somewhat ironically is number eight on trending. And this is a really good video, and I'll leave it in the description for you to watch it. Although this video has been a bit of a breakdown itself, I think that it's important to even talk about this video. It goes more into depth about the tweets and what it means. This for example shows the traffic for the best of RT game 2022 video and this is where it started and this is when it got restricted and you can see that it basically killed the video. Other examples in his video show that he had a conversation with Team YouTube and someone who helped him last year said that he wanted to reach out about this year's troubles and they even said Team YouTube or some people at YouTube at least said that it didn't make sense for it to be restricted. YouTube did end up giving him identifiers as to where the offending content was but they said that even if he removed it that they wouldn't remove the age restriction or the demonetization for rules that they have implemented since these videos were uploaded and they complied with the YouTube at the time but they don't now which is where the whole retroactively doing it thing comes in place. It is also said that the reason why the best of 2022 video got restricted was because it showed playthrough of the quarry which also went on and got restricted meaning that due to the horror content of the video that the video can't really be uploaded onto YouTube unless it's demonetized. But something that Daniel does mention that I thought was very interesting is that a lot of these are age restricted as you can see on screen meaning that no one who is under the age of 18 can watch the videos unless they in some places supply an ID to show 
that they're over the age of 18. It works differently for different countries, I think. A bit of a slippery slope because what it means, or what it should mean at least, is that any video game rated R should automatically be age restricted, meaning that Grand Theft Auto 5, for example, all those videos should be age restricted. No one should be recommended those videos because the video game is 18 plus, and that that should go with every video game that is 18 plus. Otherwise, you're not being consistent, are you? As you'll see, a lot of people still upload GTA videos, even though this is being implemented at the moment, and nothing is happening to them. Whereas RT in this case, and I'm sure others, are having issues with other games, like the Quarry in Daniel's case, for example, and there just doesn't seem to be consistency around the board, which is a real issue. Outside of gore and horror and things like that, it is also now not acceptable to swear in the first however long or really in the video at all, uh, which means that a lot of creators are probably going to have a lot of their past stuff demonetized. I did check my videos and I don't think I've had many, if any, retroactively demonetized. The last thing I want to talk about is this. A few years ago now, Copper was introduced, which meant that YouTube would have a section of videos that were made for kids and videos that weren't made for kids. And there is a YouTube Kids app where I assume the made for kids videos go and you can't comment on those videos and things like that. You can't monetize those videos. But there is also a section that says, no, it's not made for kids, which means that people who are on the normal YouTube app will get recommended the video. If you can select that something is not made for kids, then why would it be age restricted? Because there is a whole YouTube Kids app. If you're lacking the swearing and you're lacking the gore, then it doesn't mean that your content is automatically made for kids. A lot of commentary stuff is heavy, for example, and it's not made for kids, but that doesn't mean that it involves swearing or gore or anything like that, you know? I think that YouTube are just shooting themselves in the foot, unfortunately, but I do think that although it is unfortunate that this happened to RT Game, that this is going to hopefully create a big discussion and maybe YouTube will do something. Maybe YouTube will go back on it. I don't know. I can't imagine that they want to shoot themselves in the foot. Although they have done that with a lot of things like dislikes, for example. These are some of the videos that are now limited with ads and some of them, even this one you can see is age restricted by YouTube. These are the videos that were uploaded by RT Game. There's the GeoGuessr one, uh, the Horror Game one, the Mario Party one, Mario Kart, Elden Ring, two Elden Ring videos, and even the Nintendo Switch Sports video, which is a bit strange. I just thought that I'd make this video and try and add to the discussion. I know I'm a few days late. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon for another video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.